What's going to be the outcome of Nicola Bully case in Quest? Hello my viewers welcome back on another video on Nicola Bully's case on London Argabit's channel. As you all aware the Nicola Bully case in Quest will be held in Preston today, 26th and the 27th of June 2023. I'm going to play few clips from the press conference and from some of my previous videos. Please take a look at them and let me know what you think the inquest outcome is going to be. Let's begin the clips with Mr. Peter Lawson. But I'm acutely aware that there continues to be extensive media interest, uh, commentary, speculation, and, de and indeed some criticism of our police investigation. The investigations involved a dedicated team of more than 40 detectives. They've been looking through hundreds of hours of CCTV, dashcam footage, speaking to numerous witnesses, carrying out digital inquiries, and examining literally hundreds of pieces of information in the submitted by them. I would emphasize that it remains the case. There is no evidence to, in to indicate a criminal aspect or third party involvement in Nicola's disappearance. To give you some figures to back up some of what I've described, we visited more than 300 premises, spoken to almost 300 people, and received around about 1,500 pieces of information into the inquiry. It remains the case at the present time that there is no evidence in all the exhaustive inquiries we've made that suggests any crime has been committed, or that there is any third party involvement in Nicola's disappearance. Let's now it watch Ms. Rebecca Smith's clips. As soon as she was reported missing, following the information that was provided to the police by her partner, Paul, and based on a number of specific vulnerabilities that we were made aware of, Nicola was graded as high risk. That is normal in a missing person from investigation with the information we were in possession of. She was immediately treated as a MISPA, but the main hypothesis I was working on at that time was that Nicola had gone in the river this has been misconstrued in the press and said that that was what I said. But as Mr Dawson has said, at the minute, with the information that we have received and reviewed, there is not a single piece of information or evidence to suggest that there is any third party involvement in this investigation. And our intention is to review every one of those, however small they might be, to make sure that on none of those, Nicola is seen. At this stage, nobody... Uh, none of that dash cam has indicated that Nicola is there, that we are being inundated with false information, um, accusations and rumours, which is distracting us from um, our work. That this investigation has been thoroughly investigated, no differently than any other major investigation from the outset. I'm also Let's now have a look at Mr Andrew Snowden's in statement. Investigation that was correct in its, sadly correct in its hypothesis all the way along, in which officers um, um, predicted correctly, very sadly, even the day that Nicola's body would tragically be found, and yet predicted correctly, very sadly, even the day that Nicola's body would tragically be found, and yet... Let's listen to Peter Falding. If this is the body of Nicola, then she was not found in the river. She was actually found in the reed bed to, to the side of the river. Our task was to clear the river. And at the time, I can categorically say, I have the data to prove it, that there was no body in the river at that time when we were searching. People can Guiding disappear. expert Peter Falding says he hasn't been asked to provide evidence at the inquest. Hello, Dr. Jane Zadeli, senior coroner for Lancashire asked Lancashire police to return to the water for investigative work to help confirm her cause of death and what happened before she was found in the reeds. Police divers were acting under instruction of HM Senior Coroner and had been asked to assess the riverbanks in the vicinity of where Nicola Bully went missing. They had not been tasked either to perform any further searches within the river or along the banks or to locate any articles. This activity is to assist with the coronial process. HM Senior Coroner, Dr. Adeli, added, speculation as to the role and purpose of officers acting on my instructions is unhelpful in the resolution of this inquest.
it will be held at the coroner's court in Preston. The ultimate aim of today is to answer four questions. Who's died, where and when the death occurred, and how the death occurred. How the death occurred is the more difficult question. In this case... After watching these clips, what do you think the outcome of this case inquest is going to be? I will leave this question to you. All what we want is justice for Nicola. Thank you for watching this video. Let's hope something positive news comes out of the inquest. Thank you all once again and I will see you on another video.